Hey YouTube, today we got the old Weber Smoky Mountain fired up again with the Cajun Bandit extension ring and rotisserie. Yeah, we got to spatchcock these two whole chickens, flatten them out real good and put them in a couple of baskets that I've modified. Put those baskets on the rotisserie. I, I know I don't have to do that. I could just lay them on a grate. But you know me, we got to do something different. Plus, I like to pit cook things directly over the fire and sauce it and get it seared. When you do a whole chicken, you when you break it open, it's like ball chicken to me. I like for it to have sauce and sear. You've heard that before. Anyway, we got some other vegetables and a ribeye steak we're going to cut up, put on some skewers, and have a big time. So... You stick with me, and I'll show you what we got. Okay, now we spatch a cock of the chicken. No, we'll run this knife down the back. Make a couple of cuts right here. You don't have to do that. I could do it all with this. Uh, this knife will do it all. We'll take this little deal here. That's a cutting little tool right there. You'll cut your finger off with no problem. You hear it cutting through those ribs. No problem, me no. Anyway, it's just that easy. I've already got a slit right there in that rib cage, so that was flattened out, ready to go. Because I want them to go in a cage. Really don't need it. I can just go to town with this guy. That wasn't my finger. It's nothing fancy. Just break that breastbone. You got it. We'll put a little olive oil. Splash a little bit of that on there and rub her down. Now, put a little bit on this side. We get we getting somewhere. Just stay with me. All right. Let's, let's season this thing down. A little kosher salt. See? I hope these two baskets will fit on that uh, rotisserie at the same time. We'll find out shortly. This is Montreal chicken. I got a Tony Chatron seasoning, Cajun season. Why not, right? All right. Flip her over and do it again. Okay, what I'm going to do is, it had a handle on it, you know what these look like. I cut the handle off and I'm going to, so it won't be sticking out, taking up room. Oh, a little prep going on here. Getting the stuff ready for the skewer and the pan. All right, we're gonna make that little appetizer that Troy did, T-Broy. I couldn't find the bread cheese, Troy, so I'm just having to use, uh, let's see, Smokehouse Gouda. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I just grabbed it. So I'm putting some of that in the bottom instead of the bread cheese. I know it won't be exactly the same, and I found a muffin tin. I couldn't find a cast iron. I didn't have time to order that plate. You have to do what you can until the best gets there, right? I know you said to put it on there and heat it. Uh, I'm just cheating all the way around. My company's coming, and I got to do this. So I'm just going to put the shrimp in there. 
Next came some jalapeno pepper. We'll make a popper out of this thing. <laughs> a popper muffin. I got cheese and the jalapeno kind of mixed together here where I grated it in the same bowl. Gonna end up that way anyway, right? Yep. Then we'll do some bacon, real bacon bits. This is the pepper jack cheese. Plenty of that, just cover it up. Might have to shred a little more. Yeah, I'm gonna have to shred some more. Okay, you get the picture, but we'll be putting this on the grill in a few minutes. Okay, it's been about an hour and 15 minutes we've been cooking it. 340-ish. Chicken's looking good. It's about 150 is where it's at right now. So, got some vegetables down in there. So, got the flow and sear over there. I got some, uh, also, down in the bottom, I got some charcoal going down there too. You can see it. You do a little bit of everything when you got a lot of food in there in different places, different levels. But uh, it's doing good. We'll be saucing it up in about, I don't know, 20 minutes or we'll so. We'll check on those appetizers. They're probably done. I'm going to take them off. Looking mm -hmm. good. Yeah. Going to leave these vegetables going in there. Put my sauce back up there to keep it warm. All right. Uh, that looks good right there. Mm -hmm. We'll take them in and let them cool off. Yeah. We got a cook done here. Got some chicken done. Got vegetables. I, I got to go get the vegetables, but let me show you the chicken. Go ahead and pan down on this chicken. Looks pretty. Yeah. I used the Paz mustard sauce. This uh, so sauce that Jay sent me this week. That's what was used on this chicken. Let's just go down in here. I mean, you know, this is practically broke loose anyway. <laughs> I'll just let this be my piece. I'm tearing it to pieces, but... Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Go it's just it. wanting to come apart on me, but we'll just use this right here. And it looks delicious. Here we go. I'm going in, boys. <laughs> <laughs> that's very good oh it smells good it's not really strong mustard you know when you say mustard sauce there's a lot of other things in that sauce but uh, this is the good part right here this nice searing on this chicken mm -hmm. that's the best piece I'll eat all night right there mmm <laughs> mmm -hmm. No good. That was good, Jay. I enjoyed that one. Yeah, get you a piece. Mmm. Good, Jay. <laughs> Way to go. All right. Well, uh, that's about sums it up. I got more vegetables to bring in, and I'll show you those. I'll take some pictures of that. Mm -hmm. It all looks real good, and uh, we had a lot of we got a lot of food here. And uh, I'll show you some pictures of that. This is what we got. Mixed vegetables. We got the chicken, squash casserole, and some potato salad. Fresh bread from the market. <clears throat> we fixing the dig. Thanks for coming along on this cook. And until next time, this is Phil and Florence. Bye-bye.